Hey, what's going on, Bird Game? Philly Carnage here, and we are back week four of Yo Boy Pizza's Sub Franchise Season 2. So, y'all, a couple big things. Uh, I know from Season 1, and I've been trying to do it throughout this season as well. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, clear up some of those dead spaces. So, be sure to let me know down in the comments if that is happening. As far as, you know, more sound effects, as far as, like, just in-game audio. Uh, you know, the field, players running, the commentary, all that good stuff. So, as we get into this, we're sitting to them on. We got the 1-2 and two San Francisco 49ers. And, you know, might as well just, let's just take this time. Uh, let's go ahead, let's check out what is going on with the 49ers. What do they really have? I know I haven't really done this much, uh, as, as much as I should. Uh, so, Teddy Bridgewater, water, uh, Steven Sermons, not exactly sure who he uses. Probably Sermons. That would be my guess, you know, 93 throw power. Hatback Miles Sanders, uh, you know, obviously rocking the birds. So, yo, know, big fan of Miles Sanders there. No fullback, receivers, Amani Cooper, Allen Robinson. All right, we got to watch this dude. Manny Coe in 97 speed. Dude's an absolute monster. Like, wow. You know, only good thing is he doesn't have the greatest uh, jumping. So, you know, just has a lot of speed there. Robert Tanya in there as his... Man, even, he's got speed all over the place. Uh, DNs, you know, Brandon Graham again, rocking the birds. Uh, Malik Donaldson, Shaq Barrett, you know, just kind of going down through here. Corners, let's see, corners, all right, that, that's something that we might be able to do something with with uh, Quez Watkins, as, you know, doesn't really have anything plus 90. Other than, you know, DJ Reed, Sean Raid, Wade, they're sitting at 90, but, you know, free safety, McCordy and Carly Willis. So, you know, again, you know, just something that we got to look at, um, you know, see what we can do. You know, we got that big game next week. We can't look ahead right now, though, because, you know, we got we got to focus on this game. We're setting two and one. And, you know, we're, we're right in this in the division. Unfortunately, the Patriots are sitting there 3-0, and they already have the tiebreaker on us right now. So before we get into this, let's go ahead. Let's just take a look. We got somebody in the locker room talk, calling it quits. Uh, you know, Jason Kelly, let, Kelsey, let's convince him to stay. You know, again, you know, dude, this dude is is an absolute staple. And I don't understand, like, this should be fixed in Matt. Like, we're coming off a win, and we're 2-1 and one on the year. Like, I can understand, you know, 0-3. Oh and that's whenever you want to start coming in and, you know, contemplating retirement. I mean, great. You know, Kelsey is getting up there in age. Uh, but, you know, still shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's see. Coach, we're approaching the end of the first quarter of the season. What do you need more of, you know, when's... You know, we just got to get him to build chemistry. Unfortunately, last year he was out with uh, injury. Now we got to beat the Niners and score four touchdowns. So that's something that we could, you know, potentially... You know, get worked out. Uh, just kind of taking a look here, see what we really have as far as resigns. I mean, again, it is the uh, a fantasy draft, so some of the things are definitely different. But Wilcox, uh, most well, Eichenberg and Alfred Carroll, we got to resign Alfred just due to the fact that you know, whenever we went for the trade, he is one of our rookies. We were unable to do it. You know, just Madden being Madden and not allowing the trade to go through, so we had to cut him. I told him I would just resign him. No big deal. So, you know, with that, let's go ahead. Let's get some weekly strategy here. And, you know, to me, I, I got to say we got to, and of course, it doesn't have any of this stuff. Any of this stuff is in, which is absolutely stupid. But let's, let's just go medium pass for uh, defense. Offensive game plan. You know, he likes the blitz. But we're going to work on, you know, the outside. See if we can go ahead and, and, you know, just run the ball to the outside and go ahead and get this training simmed up. See exactly what we get. See if we get, you know, any upgrades after this. You know, see who really wants to work harder. But, you know, some Johnson dude has turf toe. No idea who exactly that is on the defense. And Deshaun Elliott with a hit pointer. All right. So time to dig into the depth. And, uh, all right. Well, hopefully nobody on the, the offense is hurt. Let's go. Ahead, let's take a look here. See. All right, so Deshaun Elliott is the only one that is hurt. So let's go ahead. Let's get right into this game against the Niners. But before that, let's go ahead. Let's let's hit these upgrades. See what exactly we got. We got Fred Warner going up here to a 98 overall. Uh, go ahead, build up that field general. 
You know, dude's been a monster for us. Man coverage, strength, zone coverage. All right, cool. And then Logan Wilson. Logan Wilson had an absolutely huge year last year. You know, able to lurk off multiple screen passes. Gets that play wreck, pursuit, and zone coverage. And then this this dude, I don't even know who he is. We're just going to go ahead and auto upgrade him. And let's get into this game. All right, so right away, he was able to go ahead and get a very good run on us. And of course, I'm not going to be able to get back on Fred. There we go. We're back on Fred. Watch the inside run, but we're just going to drop back. Drop back, see what's going. He's going to... So, oh, I thought he was going to send her deep. But Robert Tunyon makes the reception. Oh, we need to get something figured out. Hopefully, we can get a turnover sooner than later. There you go, Fred. There you go, Fred. Getting back in there. Pushing Miles Sanders down to the ground. Left it wide open. There we go. There we go, Jackson. Jackson able to go ahead and get that pick. Get that pick. Let's go. Great way to start it out. Get that momentum swinging in our way. We're going to third and six here. Quez Watkins has a linebacker on him. So there's a chance, but we're just going to dump it down. And oh, oh, I thought that was incomplete. I thought Jameis overthrew him. Oh, that could have been very, very bad. There you go, Singletary. Good gain. Good gain there. Picked up six yards. Go, Henry. There you go, Henry. There you go. Get him there for that touchdown. Let's go. Take a 7-0 lead, which is great to go ahead and capitalize off a turnover. Uh, you know, especially whenever it's his first possession. That takes one away from him. And, you know, now he gets to play, play from behind. And then, you know, we get the ball to start the second half. Boom. Oh, oh I clicked on wrong. I thought we were going to go ahead and get the sack. Not where you're going to come home, get that sack. Debo, uh, not Debo, Amani Cooper was there. <laughs> there you go, Fred. I don't know what the hell kind of tackle that it was, but I will take it. We're stuck. We're stuck, but we're able to go ahead and get back there and force the force the punt. Tap him short. That's, that, that's, that's all that matters. Like, that could have been very, very bad, but I'll take it. Able to force the fourth down, and we're getting this ball back. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Could have been bad, but we're able to go ahead and get in there for the first half. All right, so now that we got that figured out, obviously, yo, something was going on with one of our connections. Unsure exactly who, but I mean, we both struggled. We're going to go ahead and hit Hunter Henry there and able to go ahead and pick up a sizable gain there. 63 total yards, but I mean, obviously, that... The first touchdown's not going to count uh, as far as everything with uh, what's-his-face. Old famous Jameis, just through the fact that, uh, you know, we, we just reset the score in general. That way it was it was all good to go exactly how we had it when we first, you know, started out this game. So, you know, we're, we're back to that point as far as getting everything set up. 7 nothing. I got the ball. Yeah, there's a little more time on the clock, but, you know, just... We just got to do what we can. You know, again, like I said, unsure exactly what happened as far as our connections go. But, you know, we're we're, ba we're back in business. There you go, Quez. There you go, Quez. There you go, Quez. Let's go. Let's go. Great touchdown. Quez Watkins out there doing his thing. Oh, I don't know who 91 is. Is that Tuit? Stephon Tuit shutting down Miles Sanders there. First play on offense for him. Freaking hate this. Why? I hit why. And I again, I don't understand the whole, you know, I, I guess it's just the way that I have my defense set up as far as, you know, what exactly is going on. But we're just going to, you know, pinch this line, pinch these guys, and see what we can break up. See if we can get back in here. Woo! Monty Hooker. Potentially look at Westbrook coming across the middle. Watch Howard as well. Watching Howard as well. Boom. Westbrook. Westbrook. Call. I hit A. I hit A, Jameis. <laughs> oh, Jameis is so bad. Jameis' accuracy is horrible. Left Miles Sanders wide open. Wide open, Miles Sanders. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, all right. We got bought out. We got bought out. I'm trying to see what's going on in the Discord right now. Uh, you know, there, there's a bunch of communication that's going on. I have no idea what exactly what they're even talking about, but I mean, you know, so we're just going to try to do this, try to get down in here, try to get in and get a s TFL potentially watch the inside. Like I said, Oh, there we go. There we go. Fred, 
There we go. Fred, we're not buying that fake fullback toss. Watch the outside throw here. He's going to leave him wide open. and All right. At least it's incomplete. Don't know what the flag is. Here's a Cleveland. Bring it back to the 17. Yeah, let's do that. Just be smart. Take it back. And hopefully get a stop. There you go. All right, Jackson. Good click on him. Just leave him wide open, and then he falls backwards. Way to go, Goodwin. Way to go, Goodwin. Okay. Well, all righty. All righty. Try to go ahead and try to pick up this first down. Try to pick up the first down on the ground. Able to bounce it around. There we go. We got the first. Got the first. That's what I'm liking. I'm liking to see that as we're just easily, slowly, but surely... Able to go ahead and move this ball down the field. Watch Cole Beasley here. See what he does with number 44 there. Cole Beasley could be open. Cole Beasley. There we go. A little quick possession catch for Cole. Quiz Walken should be open right here. He was open, unable to do much with it. Oh, there we go. There's a safety. There is a safety. Let's go. Just bring in three with that one blitzer. I think the blitzer. Uh, yeah. Hey, John Tytower gets this ball. Gets this ball. There we go. All right. Ball at the 42-yard line. That was just dumb. That was dumb. That was stupid. Why? Why do I do that? Why do I do that to myself? I was watching Quez the entire time, and I hit the other button. We're stuck. Oh, Candy. 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 Let's go. Able to go ahead and just get this ball right back. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to try to get Howard in here for the touchdown. Able to get around and just cut it right up in there. Get that easy touchdown. As, yo, we were already set up with the one. We were guaranteed at least three as long as I didn't do anything stupid. So, there we go. Take it into halftime, 26 nothing. So, we've been just moving this ball down the field slowly but surely as we got, yo, our third string running back in currently. At least whenever we're running plays throughout here uh, in this formation. Down to the 11. Just, just trying to get out through this game. Uh, you know, the quicker we can get out of this game, the better. You know, come away with the victory. As, I mean, Tyson just gets, you know, flipped up there at the two-yard line. Howard gets in as we literally just milked five minutes off that clock. Just running the ball. That way, you know, don't want to overthrow. You know, Jameis Winston, his, his arm, it gets tired easy. We already saw it earlier where he missed a wide open touchdown. So you know, we don't we don't want to overwork the man. Why are you Left running? it wide open. Why are you running? Wide open. I mean there I gotta I gotta change this. There you go, Jackson. There you go, Jackson. Jumped it. Able to go ahead, outrun him. I mean defensive scores. I don't think you have any idea. Defensive scores. Oh my! We just <laughs> come on. <laughs> there goes the entire, entire momentum thing. <laughs> How? Come on! All right, so this game is over, as we're just gonna pretty much milk out the clock, both sides of the ball, and you know just come away here with. The, yeah, come away with the victory. All right, so there you have it. We got the victory, 43-7, to seven, as, yo, we improved 3-1 and one on the season. As, yo, Jameis Winston played pretty good, had a couple missed throws, and, yo, we, we were able just to pretty much get the running game going. Yo, even got up to our third string running back, getting some good touches, uh, definitely going to help him out progress throughout the year, potentially end up making like a 70 overall, something like that. 
So, I mean, definitely definitely a good win for Buffalo. As, you know, Jameis Winston, 64%, 166, two touchdowns. Now, I mean, remember, the one touchdown, you know, as you saw at the beginning of the video, ended up going to Hunter Henry, uh, but we lost that. So, we ended up throwing it to Cole Beasley. Uh, so, really, throughout this game, one touchdown, one interception. Rushing wise, you know, Howard ended up with 17 for 117. Singleton, 7 for 64. Tyson, 4 for 21. Uh, receiving wise for us, you know, Quez led the way, 4 for 63. Beasley, 2 for 50, which, I mean, the 1 for 43 doesn't really count. Uh, just a couple little dump offs, to some other guys. So, you know, like I said, able to go ahead, get that victory. And now we got the task of taking on. Yo boy Pete's himself. Right, so as we finish up that game, Dante Jackson gets an upgrade. Going to continue to do his slot. Love to see a speed. Love to see a speed. Awareness, man, coverage. I'll take it. Devin Singletary goes up here to an 84 overall. Uh, keep building that elusive back on him. Yo, dude breaks tackles like crazy. I have no idea. Uh, but I'll take it. Agile on Quinn Menrinez. I, I, honestly, I don't know how to pr uh, actually pronounce his name, but a like I said, able to go ahead and get that victory. Check in, see what the QB1 has to say. Uh, see, everything's starting to come together. Hey, I'm good with it. Let's go. What, what XP do we get? 10 morale for the entire team. No XP? All right, interesting. Interesting. As, you know, that's going to do it for us here. We're 3-1. and one. Like I said, Next week, week five, we get to take on Yo Boy Pizza himself. And, you know, so far, the series between us is split one and one. Hopefully, you know, this year, we can go ahead and take a 2 0 lead on him, you know, at least throughout the entire, throughout this season. So, as always, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. But until next time, peace.